beautiful friends and welcome back to my channel hope you're all having an awesome day wherever you are and today's video is going to be super fun for you guys probably not for me but today we are doing the long requested update to my wig collection now I've gotten a lot better at putting on wigs in the past year and a half since that last video and I've acquired a lot more so without any further ado let's jump into the video Alright guys, so before we get started with today's video, would you mind hitting the subscribe button down below for me? I'd really appreciate it. I put a new video out every single freaking day, sometimes two a day. And yeah, you'll always have something new to watch because who doesn't want more YouTube videos to watch? So, um, first up is how I store my wigs, which I get asked a lot. And it's nothing fancy. It's probably the wrong way to do it, actually. But for me, I just store them in totes. I have two totes full of wigs. I need a third one. And I just put them in their individual bags. Most of them that they already came in, and if they didn't come with a wig because I bought it used, um, I put it in a bag. So that is that. Let's open this first container up and start trying on the wigs. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is apply your wig cap before you try on any wigs. Um, I really recommend brushing your hair through before you start putting it in the wig cap, even though you're going to tangle it up anyways. You can use the net kind, which has a hole on both ends, or you can use the regular kind, which I have here, which just like covers your head now if you have long hair you want the net kind if you have short or medium hair you can kind of just do whatever and just smush this I mean yeah if you have long hair braided up of course but if you have short hair like me you can just push it into the cap and kind of smush it around so you get kind of a flat surface so there's no like weird lumps you know and after trying on a few wigs I'm gonna have to like keep taking this off and putting it back on wig caps are kind of hard to mess up honestly but just be aware it's gonna rub away your foundation every time you put on a wig take it off so most of the wigs that I have are lace front there's a few that aren't but lace fronts look way more natural and real especially good quality ones that have a good hairline in the front this one has a very good hairline in the front and Let's put it on. Okay, so here is the first wig by Hia Hair. The style number is H3030. Um, and of course, I already showed you the link to the review of it. It's super pretty. My eyebrows are not going to match every single one of these wigs, of course, today. Sorry. But I really like this one. I think it's very natural and I wish it was a slightly more red because then I don't think I'd ever take it off. But let's move on to the next wig. Alright, next wig is by Isis Wigs. It is the style of Mandy and I have the color of 99J. It's back in here. And you've seen me wear this wig a lot. Y'all really like this one on me. It is a dark burgundy red wine color. And let's put it on. Alright, so I'm not gonna like try to style these, like if I tried to style all these perfectly, this would take me like a million years to film. But you get the basics of it. This is the wig itself. I think it's gorgeous. I love the color of it. The fit for my head is a little bit tight, but overall, it's super pretty. So let's move on to the next wig. Alright, next wig is not a lace front. This was $34.99 at my local beauty supply store. It is a Vanessa first name in wigs, Super C part lace part but it's not a lace front wig so let's oh there's information if you want it let's open her up this one is not being well cared for but i've worn it many a time so i feel like okay i got my money out of it it's not a lace front so it doesn't look as real but also it doesn't look bad for what it is Okay, so this is the wig put on. It has like this super swoopy on one side, shorter on the other kind of part. And then a dark root. Try to make it look more real, but it doesn't look real. <laughs> but I think it's super cute. I always use this one for every time I have a holiday makeup story, like a Christmas one. Because I feel like it just gives me that like little holiday vibe to it. And yeah, let's move on to the next wig. 
All right, next wig is one that I got off Amazon. I will leave an Amazon link in the description box for you. And it is this brown wig with bangs that I bought for my Diva cosplay from Overwatch. Um, here's a picture of the cosplay. And it's, it's a very stringy wig. It has a very weird lump at the top of the head. But let's try it on anyways. It is not lace front. You're not going to find a lace front that has bangs because of what's the point, you know? There's no hairline to show. Hmm. It's a it's a very strange fitting wig. Because look at this weird lump at the top of my head. It can't flatten down, like it's made into the thing. Yeah. This is what it looks like. It's very, it, it's, I mean, it's cute for like, a second and then you realize that the bangs go halfway back on your head and it kind of looks like a mullet but other than that though this is my diva wig so let's move on to something hopefully better quality than this one because it's very shiny and very stringy all right next wig is by eva hair um they sent me to this to review i'll leave a link up to right here and uh, let's try it on it's just a cute little black bob I tried to wear this out to a comic con one day and then I went to lunch at this, I think it was a Chili's. The waitress came up to me and said, nice lace front. And I felt so red, like, oh, I took it off and had black brows with my purple hair for the day. So this is the wig. I think it's very cute. Um, I think I would definitely like take some time trying to style it better, but it's very short. It's cute, but it makes my face look very fat. But, yeah, this is this wig. Let's move on to the next one. Alright, next up is this wig by Chris Chrisana or something. I got this off Amazon and it is my absolute favorite wig. Um, it's kind of hard to say that because I do have a ton of wigs, but I've worn this one the most. I wore it for my Daphne cosplay. If I do a Poison Ivy cosplay in the future, I'm wearing this wig. I love it. The hairline looks so good. And let's just try it. Hey, I, I put it on. I'm sorry I'm, I'm back, but, uh... I was accidentally recording the whole first intro of this video in 4K on my cell phone. So it took everything in my cell phone. I had to go charge it and stuff. But it's okay. So this is the Daphne wig. I love the color. It's not like styled perfectly today. But it's just so cute. The only thing I don't like about it is it's super tangly. Like it gets tangled no matter what. You can like go like this. Tangles all around. But like the color is gorgeous. I just love it. I've always wanted like colored hair like this. I've had the bright red neon hair before but like this just gives me so much life and i love it so this is my daphne wig and let's move on to the next one Whew, this next wig still has the tag attached and i know what that means it's ugly um oh it still has the lace on it too <laughs> i i remember this one i remember you the one that was supposed to have cute baby hairs on it but I really just like the style of it. I was gonna cut the baby hairs off, but look how just disgusting they look up close. Ew. I don't even know if you can tell. It's just a bunch of ill. Let's fold this lace back so it doesn't cut my face and try it on anyways. <laughs> Alright. Technically, I know this lace thing wouldn't be there if I cut the lace off, but oh my. God. Next. Next. Alright, next wig I forgot I owned. Because usually when I wear wigs, look how long that's in the back. I usually wear like the same five or six. But I think I bought this for a witchy look or like a Halloween look. Yeah, this is like really ugly. <laughs> you got one piece of hair. So it goes down very far in the back of this. The back is very thin. Like, there's a lot of poof, like right here, and I don't like it. It's okay. I don't know. I've seen worse. I've seen better too, though. And there's like some of these little hairs that just want to get in my eyeball. Alright, let's move on to the next wig, and I'm gonna find one. That's better, because, like, right now we're not in the good section of the wigs. Okay, next wig is by Friday Night Hair. This is the information on it. 
And I remember getting this one and thinking it was so cute, but it didn't look real the way I wore it. So maybe I can put it on a little bit better now. It is a brown wig with a blonde like underneath, like a blonde virgin hair part underneath of it. So let's see how it looks now. Okay, this is the wig. It has like a good bit of length. I kind of like the like blonde coming out from the underneath part of it. And it's kind of cute. Like it's not like crazy beautiful. It's not like crazy good quality. It's still pretty stringy, but like I feel like if I put a beanie on with this, it'd be really cute and natural looking. So let's move on to the next one. Can you believe that we're not even done with the first container yet? Oh my gosh, this is gonna be a long video. I'm so sorry. This is a wig by Altre. That is the style number. And this one is, it needs to go in the trash. It's, it's been through it. Only wore it like three times, but it's just like getting to that point where the hair is deteriorating. It's getting all kinky and tied up and curly and ragged. I think it's time for this one to go, but before I throw it away, let's use it for a video. This is what it looks like. I, it's like a, a ombre kind of vibe. And if you know me, I don't like real ombres. But I can stand it on a wig. Maybe like, I don't know. If I, when I used to wear this, I wore it like three times. I wore it with like a cute snapback over it and I felt so edgy. But um, yeah, this is the wig. Let's move on. Okay, so next wig is a purple and black wig. I have never worn this sucker, but... This is what it looks like. It just has some purpley little layers at the bottom. And see, when you don't take care of your wigs, like I don't care much about taking care of wigs. I don't wear them that often, but the front starts to get kind of gross. Okay, so this is Satchel. Satchel, what do you think of my hair? What do you think, buddy? What do you think? So this is this wig. <laughs> this cat will not leave me alone. It's just purple and black and it's like, okay, it kind of has like a weird smell to it, but I think it's just the fake hair since it is synthetic. But yeah, this is this one. This next wig is going in the trash along with the other one that deteriorated. It is this silver wig with a darker root and it's just trash. It's so stringy. <sighs> I got it off Amazon. Cause I had so many reviews of it, like at four stars. I was like, oh, well maybe the one star just didn't like the root or something. <sighs> People who rated this four star have never worn a wig before. This thing is garbage. So look at this fake part up here. It just feels like plastic. Like it feels so bad. This right here where it's all knotted up in the top, you can't fix. It's stringy. It, uh, you can say, uh, oh, Bridget, you just didn't style it or brush it out. No, it's just stringy. It's so bad. Let's move on. All right, last wig from this container. This is the style number. It is by Isis Wigs again, which was the same one we had the Mandy one we started off with, the deep wine red color. And they're also a really good wig company. This is a purple and black, but it looks like absolute trash on me. I hate it. If I didn't already have purple hair, I would never dye my hair purple because of how crappy this looks on me. Yeah. This, this is it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Ugh. Ugh. Let's move on to the next container. Next wig is another one by Friday Night Hair. This is the information on it. And this is the wig I always use for dramatic makeup. I've used my, I've done my two drag makeup tutorials using this wig. Um, I did my goth makeup tutorial using this wig. It's just so much hair, but it's honestly everything. Like if I could have curly hair like this, I'd live. I mean, I know everybody says it's a pain in the butt to have curly hair, but it's just so cute. So this is the wig. It's a lot of hair, but it's so cool. Let's move on. All right, next wig is by Elf Wigs. This is the information on it. 
You can pause it if you want to see that. And this is what the wig looks like. I did a review of it. I'll leave it linked up here for you. It is a like icy blue with a dark root. The hair quality feels good. I'm not a fan of the widow's peak, but to each their own. This is what this one looks like. All right, let's move on. This next wig is a classic. This is by Equal. Is the information on it. And I've worn this one so many times. Like, I used to wear this thing all the time. If you were here since the beginning, remember seeing me wear this in, like, half my videos? Ta-da! So easy to put on. This one, just, you just throw it on. It's so fast. But I love the, like, milkshakey pink color. The dark root makes it easier to blend with your eyebrows. Yeah. Let's move on to... Some expensive wigs. All right, next wig is from Donna Love Hair. They come in these cute little boxes with like the pink. Um, this is the information for this one. You can also save eight dollars on Donna Love Hair with code. I think it's Porcelain or Bridget. I'll leave it on the screen for you, but I don't make any money off of it. It's just some discount for y'all if you want it. This is a silvery, pretty wig. This is what the wig looks like. I don't like it personally. I just don't feel like this is the style for me. If you have a super cute shaped face, I think it'd be cute on you. But for me, I just don't like it. Yeah, this is the wig. This next wig is another Donna Love hair wig. This is the information on it. Um, you can also use that coupon code for this too. It is a beautiful purple wig. The density of this is like 120%. It is a ton of hair. It was much longer than this but i got drunk one night and i wanted to wear this wig to the bar but i was like chippy chop 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 because i didn't want to look like i was wearing way too much hair but you know you know how you are when you're drunk that's exactly why i gave up drinking so i might have to take it up again i don't know <laughs> anyways i really like this one it's just a matter of like i never know where to put this part on it But this is the wig. I just think it's super sexy. It doesn't look good right now, but I promise it's really pretty once you style it. And I love, like, how long it was. And then I just, like, chopped the ends <laughs> off of it. Anyways, this is this wig. Let's move on to the next one. You know, I'm actually kind of glad we're getting down to the end of this wig collection. Because my head hurts. Just the edges of lace rubbing against my forehead on and off, on and off for like an hour. This next one is going in the trash too. But we might as well try it on together before it, it says it's final goodbye. This just kind of hair, this one is by Janet Collection, just deteriorates. You gotta take care of your wigs, watch them, see how long they last. They're not gonna last forever. I've never, I, I think I wore this one once in a makeup tutorial back in the day. But you can just see how it's like fried up here. It's not going very well. But this is just a dark ivy green blue. Ends with a black rooted wig. It looks okay. It's nothing crazy. Let's move on. This next wig is not a lace front. I got this from my local beauty supply store. And when I tried it on in store, it didn't look like it was so bad of a hairline. But it is. This one is by It's a Wig. Which you can just take these wigs and just kind of throw them on. It feels like a headband. The way this wig is. Like, it's just, like, an elastic material right here. And the hairline right here is zero. No hairline. So, with this one, I've worn it a few times. The best way for me to wear it is just throw a beanie on. And then no one needs to know. See, then I can leave, like, a little bit of my roots out right here. My actual blonde roots. And then it's cute again. No one knows that you have a wig on. Alright, I really like the color of this one too. Like, I really wanted this dark red color. I got this one before, the original dark wine red one. And I think it's cute for the winter time. But I can't wear it in the summertime because it's not appropriate to wear a beanie. <laughs> Let's move on. We have three wigs left. Next wig is by an Ambigo wig. I got it off Amazon. If I can find the link, since it's been a while since I bought it, I will leave it linked down below for you. 
I wore this in my snow day makeup tutorial, which I'll link up here for you. It is just a white wig with a really dark root. And since I thought the dark root was ugly, I usually pair it with a beanie. I've only worn it that one time for the makeup tutorial though. <laughs> but just put a beanie over this dark root. And see, it's cute now. I love it. It's very Gwen and I love Gwen Stefani. So let's move on. We have two wigs left. This next wig is by the same company from Amazon. It is Ingo. Ingo. I really like this one because it's a long pink wig. I've worn it several times. And there's like so many different variations of color in this wig to make this pink color. Which is like so cool. And it's super long. Very pretty. The hairline is stunning. Like it's immaculate hairline. Especially for an Amazon wig. Again, if I can find the link to it, I will leave it down below for you. Oh my god gosh look at that hairline that is so good especially if you like put the part on like a little bit of a side deal that looks so good like other than my brows being super dark for this hair this hair is really pretty yeah I kind of live for this one actually <laughs> I just really love the color and since I'm not brave enough to go blonde again every time I try to go blonde again it doesn't work out so something a little bit kind of light for me is definitely different for my hair and I like it. Let's move on to our last wig. Alright, last wig is by Bobby Boss. It is this dark rooted blue wig. It's like a gorgeous mermaidy blue color. It's stunning. And let's try it on. Also, if any company out there that sells wigs is watching this video, can someone send me a yellow wig? I want yellow hair like stupid bad. And I have yellow hair dye, but I'm just scared to make the full commitment without trying a wig on first to see how it looks on my skin tone. Or how it makes my it makes my teeth look yellow too. I don't know. So uh, that would be appreciated. I want a yellow wig uber bad. This is this wig. I think it's kind of cute. I like the little layers. It kind of looks like a something inappropriate. You get what I'm saying? But I think it's cute. Like some of the longer layers are in the back. It's a lot of fun. And this one would be cute with a beanie too. Let's try. Oh yeah, this one's cute with a beanie too. Look, that one's cute. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. That was the very last wig today I tried on. That many wigs, because I didn't count as I went along. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see more videos from me, I put a video out every single freaking day, sometimes two a day, and I will see you on the next one. If you guys want more wig videos, like how to make a lace front wig look natural, how to cut the lace, or you know, anything like that, I'll be happy to do it. Let me know. Give me a thumbs up on this video if you watched all the way to the end because you're super awesome and you're a freaking YouTube amazing person. That didn't make any sense. Anyways, hope you guys have an awesome day. Bye.